What is up, everyone? So, honestly, yeah, this song is really sad. <laughs> so, um, up here in uh, Elizabethtown, <clears throat> we are heading to Orange County Fair Speedway tonight <clears throat> for both the big block and the small block. Um, it's pouring out. Not that you can, mm -hmm. it's still on the dirty door, but it is pouring out and it's pouring down there too until two o'clock. And we need to be on the road no later than 11 a.m. to be able to make the four hour drive down there. And I was really hoping they'd pull the plug before we have to leave. Because a four hour drive to watch it rain is really gonna suck. So, well, if we leave, we better be racing. And if not, they've got about 10 minutes to cancel. So, stay tuned. Well, who would have thunk it, guys? We're here. <laughs> what time did you get up this morning? Uh, my alarm was at 6. Probably got to the shop just before 7. Okay. Alright, so you've been up decently early trying to make sure we get here. And, and we're here. Blue skies. We're waiting to see what the pits look like. Hello? Well, dang, should have wore the rain boots. We have arrived and yep, it's raining. Hey Jerry, what's happening right now? Yeah. Well, it's hailing after we just hung out all day thinking it wasn't going to hail. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, guess what guys, we just drove four hours toward the hail. Literally, as soon as it starts hailing, it's canceled. We've been here for maybe 30 minutes. Great. This is, this is great. This is great. I have a feeling there was a lot of people that uh, had a better idea than we did. Unbelievable, guys. Like, they came from a couple hours away, they came from a couple hours away, he came from a couple hours away. Holy crap. We came from four hours away. Are you having fun yet? Oh, it's great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Anthony? What? I think we're going to have to get this trailer a nice uh, wash yeah. down. Yeah. We need to race, so. Yep, now my feet are wet. Was actually debating on even doing a video because we didn't race. But this is the reality of Dirt Track Untold. <laughs> the highs and lows and the you've got to be kidding me. So give me your two cents. I mean, not just about any time, not even just the price of fuel, but with the spike in fuel, guys, it probably cost us I'm gonna go with between four to six hundred dollars just in fuel alone to get here, and we lost an entire day. So, what do you think? When I, I understand that, like, if there was a window of sh of rain coming, or uh, there's like less than fifty percent chance. I don't know. There's a lot of could, would, potential stuff, right? So what I'm getting at is, given the world we're living in right now, how expensive it is, do you feel tracks should pull the plug early? You know, I mean, for us, especially this track, there's a lot of people that came this weekend that were at least, what, like, at, no, I should say at most, four or five hours away. And they won't even return our money for our wristbands so we have to come back next weekend and guess what there's tracks that start racing next weekend so those people lost out even more so oh let's add on top of that because we have one two three four five five guys and it's like what 40 bucks to get in yeah add all that stuff on top of that too so what i'm getting at rant rant on is 
Do you feel that it would only be appropriate for tracks to take into consideration the teams and the crew and really the fans too that have to drive so far like it's not like we live 10 minutes from here and i'm not saying it's just because it's us because there's a lot of people here that drove through the rain to get here and i will give them credit for trying because we pulled in and it was blue skies but there was still a huge green blob on the radar coming so I don't know, you tell me. You tell me and I'm just hoping that we can get the heck out of here. This is a freaking mess. But it's funny because I I don't want to say I'm a fair weather racer, but I never used to want tracks to pull the plug early. I would, want, I would want them to try. But now being on the side where it affects like our home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was, a, I was a kid with my dad. Well, my dad's still racing, but I was a kid. He was in control, but now it's like Mike and I, right? This affects us, big time. And guys, this is our sixth year anniversary today, and this is what we're doing. So yeah, so hopefully you understood that question. I'm not really sure if you did or not, but I just think given the time that we're in, like it's been raining and I'm pretty sure it rained here yesterday too, and it's just, it's a mess, it's an absolute mess. And I mean, yes, credit for giving them, for trying, but yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about that. So you tell me, drop in the comments, should they have pulled the plug early, should they not have? I mean, look at it now, look at it now, right? But that one bit of heavy ass hail wiped us out. So you tell me, what do you think? Should tracks weigh out all the options and pull a plug early or should they try? Because I mean, it's the beginning of the season. It's April. You know what they say. April showers. Like, this weather is just ridiculous. Come summer, I'm sure it'll be fine. That's how I feel because I am not happy. You know what the problem is? The ambulance is stuck over here. He was away. He was away. That used to be an ambulance. Well, <laughs> <Not anymore. laughs> well, you know what? It just sounds better when you say it's stuck. So, I'm trying to get you a plant. been there, done that. Okay. You're gonna give me a plant? I want to put it right here, I right there. An Easter lily? Easter lily. Where are Easter you? There you are. The <laughs> Hammer down. As fast as we're going all day.
Terrence and Matt are bonding back there. <laughs> so, we are going to uh, watch the sunset because it's now sunny. Well, okay, that way it's not sunny back there. So, we're probably dropping in the rain again. But we'll be watching Bridgeport on Slow Racing. Dad and Billy are there. I did try talking him into going, but that was still another three hours. Same thing if they canceled, we could have gone. Because we would have, well, we had two wrong cars. Two wrong cars? Yeah. We got a big block and we got a New York spec. We needed a PA spec. So it's another motor. Wrong, we got the wrong stuff. We got the wrong tires.